think about this kind of motivation. You guys familiar with Paul's life, what his, uh, his resume in 2 Corinthians chapter 12? It starts off this way, beaten times without number. That's the beginning of his resume. Talk about weakness. Now, I imagine getting beaten up is a memorable experience. How many times do you have to get beaten up before you lose count? That's how he starts his resume. Five times he received from the Jews 39 lashes. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, five times. At some point you would say, I must be doing something wrong. (laughs) But he just keeps going. It's 39 lashes because the law says you shall not lash somebody uh, 40 times because that's lethal. So they made it 39. That's a different kind of motivation, isn't it? He says, three times I was beaten with rods. Three times I was shipwrecked. Has anybody ever been shipwrecked here? Aren't you glad Paul wasn't around during air travel? (laughs) Yeah. Three times he was shipwrecked. There's a story in the book of Acts where he's collected all this money from the churches and they're going back to Jerusalem to deliver it to the poor and he, he says, I'll walk. I can understand that. (laughs) You know what? This book was written before the shipwreck mentioned in Acts. Four times he's been shipwrecked. A night and a day he spent floating in the ocean. Nothing but horizon everywhere you look. It says, once he was stoned. Now I know a lot of you have been stoned a whole lot more than once. But how many of you can say, I have been executed before? I don't know. If that's on the resume, you're hired. If death can't stop you, I want you working for me. That, my friends, is a motivation of a whole other caliber. And it does not come from guilt, shame, or fear. You can't buy it with a paycheck. It comes from God through the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if the gospel doesn't motivate your people, then you can shout and scream and dance and try to motivate them, and you're never going to see a movement. What we need is every disciple in love with Jesus so much, they can't be quiet. They can't stay still. They will suffer shipwreck. They will suffer beating. They will suffer death if that's what it takes because they're so in love with Jesus. Why? Because he first loved me. This is what discipleship is meant to be. Love is the best motive. What Stu just prayed, it starts with love.